So uh, here I'm going to show you how I accomplished getting stationary front pegs on my Sport GT. Um, I got online. I looked around to see if I could find a place that would I could get the um, aluminum, the aircraft aluminum 6061, 6063, and I found a place that does one-off stuff. They do plates, they do extruded, they do rods, all kinds of stuff. Uh, once I saw that, then I realized, oh boy, I'm going to be able to accomplish this. So I measured and looked at where things have to go. First of, of course, the stationary setup has to attach to the stationary frame above here. And also be sure that it's out of the way of the rotation of the lower frame. So I realized I could attach a plate here, but I was planning on using the screws that are in the frame right here, but Simon told me uh, that would avoid my warranty, so I rethought it a little bit. I realized all I have to do is take the plate that I'm planning to put here and just carve it out to go around the screws that are in place there and put one on each side and then drill a hole through it with a bolt and then mount it. I made sure that, I, that this was thin enough to fit between this gap here, especially as you fold it up, that it's always going to be out of the way. Then I measured to fit the, uh, the extension that's going to keep it away from the lower frame. And that's just a uh, uh, extruded box, rectangular box, measured how it's got to fit and order that part accordingly and then measure from that the length that the, this uh, uh, mount has to be that'll hold the foot peg. And that was really all. I, I ordered these the six parts, and then when I got them, I uh, ground, ground out these, these spaces here and attached and checked everything. Turned out that this this one was a little bit too long, so I had to carve out to be able to keep out of the way of the folding mechanism. So I had to grind it down here, but being that these are prototypes, I could end up ordering all new ones, clean it up, make it look real nice, and just use a shorter piece here, and that's all I need to do. So then all it takes is putting these pieces together uh, I made sure I got the proper length screws to be out of the way of everything. I made sure that the screw holes would be uh, around the center column of the steering mechanism. Um, these pieces, I made sure I drilled every... I, I drilled them pretty close. I didn't have a drill press. I had to do it by hand. But uh, they came out pretty damn close. And, and I just put this stuff together. I bought um, locking nuts just to make sure that uh, they don't uh, come apart. And And that's it. There's the stationary pegs. This one's broken, a spring broke, so it doesn't pop back down on its own. I have to, I've actually got new ones ordered from China. These were <laughs> China 15 bucks, Irby 40 bucks. I'll take the discount. And there it is. So hopefully that'll give you guys some uh, thoughts about putting on a stationary front pegs. I can't ride this thing with the front pegs and I need to have the front pegs because of my, I've got this neck damage up here, this nerve damage in my neck. and I need to be able to put my feet forward rather than back on the back pegs. So there you are.
very nice. It allows me to lean back more, which is necessary for my neck. Very nice. All right.